Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at using U substitution to integrate. So we have evaluate the following indefinite integral and we're looking at the integral of x over the fourth root of x plus 2 dx. So to start this problem we're going to let u equal x plus 2. So now we just take the derivative of both sides and we'll have du is equal to dx. Remember the derivative with respect to x of x plus 2 is 1 because the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of 2 is 0. So we have du is equal to dx. So with this problem, there is one tricky step, but we're going to go over that now. So to start it, let's think about what we can substitute for based on what we wrote down so far. dx is equal to du. And now we have the fourth root of, instead of x plus 2, we can replace x plus 2 with u. This part is important because whenever we're dealing with radicals, it helps to have just a single variable underneath the radical. Because we'll notice that x plus 2 and x aren't really related in the sense that x is not a derivative of x plus 2, so we can't make that simple of a u substitution. So we need to think about this term x. We want to replace x, so we have to use the fact that u equals x plus 2. So to replace x, we can subtract 2 from both sides and see that u minus 2 is equal to x. So instead of x, we have u minus 2. So now at this step, we need to target the fourth root of u. Definition of rational exponents tells us that the fourth root of u is equal to u to the one-fourth power. And we want to make this substitution. So for our next line, we have u minus 2 over u to the one-fourth power du. But there are more properties of exponents which tells us that if we want to send an exponent term from the denominator to the numerator, all we need to do is negate the exponent. So for step four, we're going to write the integral of, in parentheses we have u minus two times u to the negative one-fourth du. So all we did was send u to the one-fourth up to the numerator as u to the negative one-fourth. But now at this part of the problem we can distribute u to the negative one-fourth. So for step five, if we multiply u times u to the negative one-fourth, just know that u is also u to the first or u to the four over four times u to the negative one-fourth. So we're just adding the exponents. Four-fourths plus negative one-fourth is three-fourths. So for the first piece, these two multiply to u to the three-fourths because we're just adding their exponents. And now we have minus 2u to the negative one-fourth. We're just multiplying negative 2 times u to the negative one-fourth. And we'll put parentheses, and we always have to write our du at the end of this. So for the next step, we'll get this stuff out of the way. We could call it step 6. Now we could use the power rule to integrate. So just recall that the integral of x to the n dx is equal to x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus our constant term c and we only use this when n is not equal to negative 1. Notice that our exponents are not equal to negative 1, so we can use this power rule now. So we're looking at u to the 3 fourths. So we're going to integrate, we're adding 3 fourths plus 1. So we have u to the 7 fourths. Remember, 3 fourths plus 1 is 7 fourths. And now we need to divide by 7 fourths. Minus... 2u, and now negative 1 fourth, we have to add 1 to this exponent, negative 1 fourth plus 1 is 3 fourths, and now we just need to divide by 3 fourths. Remember, our exponent, we're always dividing by our exponent after we integrate, and we have plus c. So at this step, we need to think about how we could simplify we do not want to write this with division of fractions, so we're going to 
multiply by the reciprocal of these fractions. So instead of dividing by 7 fourths, we're going to write it as a coefficient. So we have 4 sevenths times u to the 7 over 4. Remember, dividing by 7 fourths is the same thing as multiplying by 4 sevenths. And now we have minus 2u to the 3 fourths times, and now the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds, and we have plus c. So the last thing that we need to do is, well, for one, we need to simplify this second term. We need to multiply 2 and 4 thirds. But we need to substitute again for u because our original, our original problem was in terms of x. So our final answer needs to end in terms of x. We cannot leave it in terms of u. So for step 9, we have 4 sevenths times u. And u is equal to x plus 2 to the 7 over 4 minus, and now 2 times 4 thirds is 8 thirds. So we have 8 thirds u to the 3 fourths, but u is equal to x plus 2. So we have x plus 2 to the 3 fourths. And we have our plus c term at the end. So our final answer to this problem, we have 4 sevenths times x plus 2 to the 7 fourths minus 8 thirds x plus 2 to the 3 fourths plus c. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using u substitution to integrate. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.